darling hearts. It's your GAPS coach Emma here, enjoying my little cup of mushroom tea for breakfast. Um, I sneezed this morning and was reminded of a time when I used to wet myself when I sneezed. <laughs> Come on, girls. Who's been there? Who's, you know, when you have kids and you kind of morph and everything changes, you know, and then you're not in such great shape because you're not exercising or whatever, because you're holding a baby all day long. But that's quite, that's quite a lot of exercise, holding a baby, isn't it? But your tissues, you know, aren't doing what they used to do. And sneezing sometimes means you pee yourself a little bit, a little bit. Well, you know, and as um, these days, that doesn't happen to me anymore. And I was, you know, celebrating that fact this morning when I sneezed. I was like, hey. I don't pee myself anymore. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I was like, geez, I'm looking at myself in this and going, hey, looking in really good shape, babe. But the, the camera never lies, they say, but it bloody well does. That is, that is not what I look like. I mean, I've not got a filter or anything, but it's just the angle I'm doing it. You know, if the angle was something else, you would actually see what my belly looks like. It doesn't look like that. It's really, you know, I was, I was watching something. Oh, it was like the one show or something like that. It popped up on Insta and it was these two, you know, TV presenters interviewing Greta, little puppet Gre Greta, little actress Greta. You know who I'm talking about. And um, <laughs> the camera never lies. Yes, it totally lies and we can't actually trust what we're seeing anymore. I mean, it was hilarious. There was Greta on this one show thing saying, if we are going to be, you know, upstanding humans protecting the planet and we have to have a sustainable war and we have to find biodegradable missiles and there are these things and we know, you know, and I was watching it going, what? Biodegradable missiles? biodegradable missiles has the world gone mad um but i was looking at it and being gullible and naive and um you know i was kind of thinking oh yeah she's she's they're actually she's actually gone on there and is doing this on the one show you know um is actually promoting biodegradable missiles because that's how farcical the whole thing seems to me most of the time um but this was actually some kind of ai um fabrication you know and it looked just like her having an interview you know and um you know we can't actually trust hardly anything we're seeing these days i'm, I'm slightly concerned about you know <laughs> i mean i could be an augmented version of myself that ai has created to entertain you what <laughs> my 17 year old's laughing next door um yeah, so I didn't wet myself when I sneezed this morning. And I am putting that down to um, my low oxalate diet because incontinence and, um, you know, urgency to pee and constant UTI infections can definitely be alleviated when you go low oxalate. So come and see me and learn how to do that. Um, so, yeah, I'm right as rain. I'm feeling feeling fine since I went low ox and started doing a bit of wall pilates and exercising a little bit. Rain, 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 go away, come again another day. It's just on the onslaught of rain is just like unbelievable in some places with the flooding and whatnot. I want to I want to tell you about a guy called Wilhelm Reich, if you're not familiar with him. He was um really out there in the nineteen forties and fifties doing amazing things with what he called organ energy organ energy or, or uh, orgasmic energy he he would call it he created the organ generator which was kind of like this little box that was made of layers of um wire wool and then lamb's wool or sheep's wool in between these little sheets of i don't quite know what but layers and layers and layers and layers and he called it his organ generator and people used to sit in it and get cured of all sorts of nasty things and he was talking about the sexual energy being the driving force of the universe you know and i don't know some people call it prana some people call it chi that's not sexual energy necessarily it's just this life force energy this kind of uh the energy in us you know um but he called it wilhelm reich called it organ energy and he attributed it to um sexual energy um fascinating guy but he actually invented a cloud seeding machine way back in 1950 something it was made with copper tubes and crystals and it was grounded in a water water source and um you know he uh, he was making it rain in the nevada desert way back when in the 1950s so i wonder how much the te 
technology's come on since then. Let's just, you know, ask some questions and um, do a bit of research. And, you know, it's not so far-fetched to think that they can make it rain and make it tornado and make it hurricane and make it, you know, make the weather not very nice. And then say, goodness me, look how the climate's changing. We must all stop using our cars and go and live in 15-minute cities. So let's just go out and, you know, uh, ask a few more questions before we let that kind of... We let ourselves be incarcerated uh, and never let out to play again in the sunshine. And incidentally, if you are stuck somewhere where it is raining incessantly and you haven't got any sunshine and you can manage it, you should get yourself an infrared sauna, which I've just been sitting in front of mine this morning. So despite the fact that out there it's grey and miserable, I've been sitting in front of my infrared sauna, sweating in a good way. You know, if you've got to the point where you can't actually... Um, exercise very well because you're aching in your joints or something's hurting and you can't properly stretch or you can't properly you know bounce around and get things moving yeah things one, one of these infrared these it's a near infrared that means that you can see the redness of it and my friends just lent me a far infrared as well near far wherever you are get some infrared because it seeps deeply into your poor your your cells and does something i don't know what it does but it just makes you feel amazing so if you're feeling a bit lackluster and a bit of full moony and angsty and like oh it's raining and what's the point and it's going to be halloween which is a dreadful hijacked seasonal so-called celebration which i i'm you know we should be thinking of the ancestors at this time thinking of your grandparents your mother your father your grandparents the great grandparents the who however far it goes back in your you know thinking we're standing on their shoulders would they we would not be here were it not for them and um we need to focus on that and call in the ancestral wisdom which is innate in all of us innate as in it's just there you know if you be quiet and just be still and tune in you've got all the wisdom of all your ancestors can flood in and help guide you with your day-to-day -day decisions, you know, and your choosing. So choose wisely, you know. That, that's all life's about, really, is choosing. What do you choose? Do you choose the, the thing that makes you weaker and, and uh, you know, is a sin because it's against life? Do you choose that evil thing that is the opposite, E-V-I-L, of live, L-I-V-E, you know, or do you choose the thing that actually makes you feel alive, makes you come alive, makes you feel like you're really living, you know? What do you choose? That, that's all life's about, is which one are you going to choose in any given moment, really? Anyway, I digress. All gone energy. Yeah, I've spoken about that. Far infrared, near infrared. Yeah, the far infrared. You can't see the red light. It's just hot, you know? So I've been training that on where I had my, um, I had a frozen shoulder. It's not frozen anymore. Um... And that near that far infrared is really doing wonders. Oh, I've got a hip thing going on as well. Tiny little message from my body, just the merest kind of like slight discomfort. But I'm like, mm, I'm on it. I'm like, that's not right. That shouldn't be there. I'm already focusing on it now, even though it doesn't really hurt. But it's something because that's what we need to do is listen to our body's messages and then tune in and go, aha, so that's happening. No fear. Never fear because your body's always trying to make you feel better, believe it or not. Um... Is that what I wanted to, what did I want to, what else did I want to tell you about? Just the cloud seeding, let's keep, you know, keep the idea. It's not necessarily a completely natural disaster, necessarily. And um, infrared, yeah. Infrared, I just, you know, you can pick up a unit on my website for really affordable, made in England, without any solvent, so there's nothing off-gassing. It's really a safe, relatively low EMF frequencies, relatively... I mean, it's portable, it's, it's a groovy little thing. And if you do a bit of stretching and exercise first and then sit in front of it, I've been sweating this morning, like nobody's business. The other thing is get your Amanita tea for um, Christmas. Yeah, talk to me, DM me if you, if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Have a lovely day. I hope you're chilled, even though it's a bit full moony and um, lots of love. See me at timelesscookery.com and come and join my Timeless Cookery Club, which is an online cookery school for gaps, gut and psychology syndrome. The gut-brain connection, you know, you can't deny it. If you're feeling funny in your head, you want to look to your gut. And that's my speciality. So lots and lots of love. Have a lovely day. Bye.